As a chair, we, uh, I have to, to handle the horizontal uh, activities within OMA, looking at uh, the entire set of uh, architecture documents within uh, OMA enablers. Also, make sure that all the security issues uh, are uh, um, looked exactly the same in each enabler. And uh, most importantly, lately, we are working on uh, a set of RESTful network APIs as uh, per uh, industry request. And we put, in, put it in place uh, an, a RESTful network uh, governance. In this moment of time, in uh, OMA Architecture Working Group, uh, we are working on a couple of work items, all related to RESTful Network APIs. And the work is ongoing on RESTful Network APIs for quality of service, NMS, and uh, a profile for uh, GSMA RCS, uh, which in OMA is called RCS Profiles 3.0. Also, I'm pleased to inform that we just finished another uh, set of work items uh, related to requirements coming from another organization, BAREC, and we just completed the work on uh, uh, API for provisioning for both RESTful and SOAP bindings. Uh, DMA is uh, an organization that bring to the industry new standards for bringing new services to the uh, old stakeholder. And in particular, we in the uh, architecture working group have a lot of experts that have been uh, involved in several activities during these years. In particular, we have brought and make available to the industry more than 40 uh, API, network API that are used um, both by the operator, but also the third party that connects to the operator. Uh, we are working on several uh, topics right now, like uh, some new network API, for example, for the quality of services and also for the WebRTC. So very interesting um, topics and needs that the industry has requested OMA to, to fulfill with new specification. The benefit of OMA to the industry if you look at it in the context of uh, RESTful Network API, as an example, something that uh, Liliana, the, the chair of the group, touched upon, is that uh, it sets the standard for application developers wishing to interface with operators' network to do it in one common way. Especially this comes into the picture when such applications or developers want to uh, have the application developed and rolled out to communicate with different operators' network. So obviously, as an application developer, you're looking to a standard forum, in this case, OMA, to provide a set of common uh, APIs, which we refer to as RESTful network APIs, in order to build against those and allow your application to communicate to any network operator including Vodafone, Orange, AT&T, name it, whether it's European or American. So this is the benefit of OMA to the industry. Mm -hmm.